uh, dance training bursary. So, as I said earlier, Craig is best to talk about this one. Jolly, there's some lovely, lovely work coming through there with a good consistency that I've seen across the festival. And it's, I know you mark on what you've seen here in the bursary, and that's what you're supposed to mark on, but I like to see a build up. And having seen these dancers dance before, or you can see that their ability is developing nicely. And that's what the bursary award is about, is how they can nurture themselves and how they can develop further in all aspects of training and their chosen training. Therefore, um, I feel that in certain areas, there were people that have chosen colleges that may not, how can I say, may not be the right college for them, but they can really develop further in a certain field. And it's always good to have a challenge. For instance, I was fully, fully into musical theatre, and then I chose Rombert because I knew that my classical had to be developed a little bit further. So it helped me along the way and made me a complete all-rounder. Um, so my winner, runner-up. <laughs> we won't get to the winner, we'll get to the runner-up. And that will be Ella Chubb. lovely work there. But our winner, do we have a drum roll? It's a big one. First place goes to Molly Williams. I think she's pleased. Jolly good. Very, very well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Craig. So as they leave the stage, our Tat Bursary Award judge. Oh, they're receiving presents. Mine? Obviously not. Anyway, as they leave the stage, a big round of applause for Claire Brazier, our Tatversary Award Judge. Yeah. Miss Ruth Brill, our Ballet Versary Judge, and obviously Craig Barkley, our adjudicator. Please keep the award, the applause going for our 2018 award winners. Thank you very much. We'll be joining you soon for the 21 and under stage groups. So if you're staying for that, you're in for a treat.